Thank you, Kosis, for sponsoring a portion of this video. Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. Today is actually really exciting because I have some interior designers coming to my office to help me out. So I've been in this office space for about a year now, but I haven't really done anything to it. Like I haven't really properly decorated it. It's definitely very functional. Like I have my Jamie Page doodle side, I have my filming side, but I just don't find that the office looks very professional i am starting to have people come into my office for meetings and stuff and i don't always feel the most proud when they come in because i just feel like things kind of look a little bit messy and all over the place and i just kind of want the space to have more of a well-designed professional but still functional feel so in about a half an hour i'm going to be having two interior designers come in and we're going to be discussing the space and what we're going to be doing with it i am going to bring you guys along with me if we do decide to move forward with this i don't think i'm going to film the actual meeting itself because like that's kind of awkward but i'll tell you all about it once it's done so besides the office space i have a lot of stuff that i need to do for jamie page doodles um which is my sticker stationery shop. I'm actually releasing a new collection. Got all of my stickers on Friday, so I'll show you guys everything a little bit later. I just had my meeting with the interior designers and it was fantastic. It'll probably get started in a couple of weeks and the entire process will probably take a couple of months, hopefully before Christmas, but it may even go into the new year. So here's a quick little overview of the space. This is where all of my Jamie Page Doodle stuff is. There's a lot of open shelving, which I want to eliminate because it just looks so messy and to kind of just find a better solution for packing orders. And then over here is more of like my YouTube space. So that's where I film, that's where I work. At my desk, my makeup organization definitely needs to change because yeah, it's open shelving and it just looks super, super messy. The kitchen area is definitely going to have a big makeover. I think creating something really cool on this entire wall will be awesome and make a huge difference in elevating the space. And then I asked them if they can make me a really cool filming background because this is what I currently have. I do like it, but always down for a change. And so to have like actual interior designers making something really cool for me, it just sounds so exciting. I'm really excited. <laughs> So my September doodle collection is obviously fall themed. I really wanted to kind of like get those cozy fall vibes, but also because September is the beginning of the school year, I also wanted to kind of like get inspo from books. And I also played with a lot of 
animals for this collection, which is very outside of my comfort zone. So I have two sticker sheets in this collection. So you guys actually saw the beginning of this sticker sheet in one of my previous vlogs. I started kind of very roughly sketching it out. So I'll show you guys the entire progress of this sticker sheet. It actually took me about seven hours to complete. Each one of these doodles are very heavily detailed. I kind of went for more of like a watercolor sketchy vibe. It's super cute. My favorite one is probably the boot. This boot was so difficult to do, but I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. The second one I'm so proud of, it's called Woodland Creatures and it has a bunch of different forest animals. You got a fox, a bunny, an owl, a deer and a bear. And then there's a bunch of different mushrooms and some acorns in here as well. So those are the sticker sheets. And then I have the single sticker. The first one is this cat sleeping on a pile of books. And of course I needed to make a dog version for my dog lovers. Then we have this guy. This is also very different from what I've ever normally done. I almost wanted to feel like you were sitting in an old library. And I also printed this one on clear vinyl. So all of the doodles just really pop on their own. And I love that. This next one is super cute. Another book themed one. It says, in my own world on the cover of a book and then the book has all these really cute like space doodles on it and then the last single sticker that I have is a little coffee cup that says something pumpkin obviously because pumpkin spice or pumpkin flavored things are always really big in the fall time so I wanted to do just kind of like a cute sassy coffee cup that said something pumpkin so because there was like some book themed stickers in this collection i wanted to make for the very first time bookmarks and i'm so obsessed with these i've already been using them in my own books and uh they're fantastic so there's a cat version and a dog version for this bookmark so it's basically a bookshelf theme at the top there's either the dog or the cat and then on each of the other shelves there's just like some various knickknacks. They're very, very thick. They're 20 point paper and they have a very like soft matte finish. So they feel very buttery to the touch, which I love. And I also rounded the corners on them too. And the color of the bookmark is like this beautiful sage green color. I just love it. Okay, I quickly need to put on some makeup because I need to run some errands and I'm not wearing anything on my face right now. This portion of the video is in collaboration and sponsored by Kosis. I... <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys know how much I adore the Kosas Cloud Set. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite powders. I have spoken about it in almost every single one of my videos over the last couple of months. I've just truly fallen in love with this powder. And honestly, Kosas is a brand. I've really enjoyed a lot of their products and they've become huge staples in my routine. So it is such a joy and such a dream come true to be able to collaborate with them on this video. I'm gonna be showing you how I use some of their products and I also have a new mascara here, which I'm gonna be putting on my lashes and I'm really excited about this, but I'll get into it when the time comes. So before I actually apply anything, I just wanna quickly hydrate my skin. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on. This is the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Moisturizer. So kind of wake up my skin and add some hydration. So for my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Revealer Concealer. This is one of my favorite everyday concealers. This is another product that I've spoken about a million times on my channel. This is a really cool concealer because it's kind of like makeup and skincare in one. There's actually caffeine, arnica, and hyaluronic acid in this concealer. So it works to kind of like soothe plump and hydrate the skin all at once, which is really awesome, especially if you're like me and you have dry skin, this stuff is amazing. So I like to use this both underneath my eyes and on my face. I find it works really great for both. And the shade that I've been using lately is 3.2 and it matches me really well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my under eyes and around my face just to cover up some redness. And this is also really great to put on blemishes because it does have that skincare in here, it does actually like soothe the skin at the same time. So I'm just gonna use a big brush just to buff it out. You know when you put on skincare and your skin just looks glowy and healthy? This concealer gives your skin that like after skincare effect, which I adore, especially on no makeup makeup days because it just kind of livens up the skin in a really subtle way. Just gonna put a little bit more on those little blemishes that I have over there and blend it out with my finger. So to set my face where I put that concealer, I'm gonna go in with my cloud set. You guys know I'm not a big fan of powder in general, but this powder 
is my favorite powder to ever exist and i've been saying that for months now because it sets on your makeup it gets rid of shine but it doesn't get rid of the glow on your face it's also such a smoothing powder whenever i use this it kind of makes my skin look like i have a filter on it it's fantastic and it's just not heavy so you don't see it on the skin it's really just everything i've ever wanted in a powder and it's hydrating i actually enjoy putting this on my face i would typically avoid putting powder on my face as much as possible but this is something that i do because i just love the effect that it gives my skin because this is more of a no makeup makeup look i'm not really going to do too much else i'm just going to put on some blush this is my m cosmetics so soft bitten blush and it's just a nice kind of like berry shade it looks really intense but once it's blended out it's perfect i really like these more berry shades because they just kind of give that i just ran a little bit look <laughs> very natural looking for my mascara i'm going to be using the new kosas the big clean mascara in intense black this is actually really exciting because i had tried the kosas mascara a couple months ago when i did like a full face of kosas video and i loved the way it made my lashes look but it smudged on me which was unfortunate because it looked so good and i had wished that it just stayed on my eyes <laughs> because it was beautiful um they actually just recently improved their formula for it to be more long wearing and for it to not smudge and i can confirm that is the case the formula is also meant to actually nourish and strengthen your lashes too which is great that's what i really appreciate about kosas makeup is that they do actually have benefits to them besides just looking good on your face this is what the wand looks like it's kind of like a curved rainbow shape and it's quite tick it gives you that volume but it also doesn't clump so it get, keeps your lashes nice and separated so this is with this is without I mean, it totally just speaks for itself. So my final piece of this look is going to be a lip color. I don't really know what I want to pop on. I just want something very basic. So I'm just going to go with this NARS uh, soft matte tinted lip balm and whiplash. One of my favorites actually right now. Just a nice matte nudie color. This is the look. Feeling very put together. Hi, Editing Jamie here. Just wanted to jump in and let you guys know that Kosas did give me a discount code for you guys. It's 15% off the entire website. And the code is Jamie Page. Enjoy. <laughs> So I've recently been very obsessed with boba. I've had it almost every single day. It's like my new, just like daily pleasure. <laughs> and I've been trying it from so many different places, trying to find my favorite one. And I just went to this new place that just opened up on Monkland called T Bora. And this is honestly the best one that I've had so far. It just tastes really, really fresh. I got the strawberry lychee tea with peach popping boba. Oh, it's so good. Mm, 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 if you're in montreal and you have another boba recommendation let me know like i said i've been trying from a bunch of different places this is my new fave though so now that i'm home i actually have quite a bit of organizing to do i've been putting this off for a while now but it's gone to the point where it's just a little bit out of control so i have this pretty big bin that's filled with skincare products so i only have one face and unfortunately i'm not able to try every single skincare product that comes my way because my skin i think would hate me for that so i thought it'd be fun to just go through this bit with you guys and separate it between the products that i'm going to be keeping and donating okay so i may fast forward through some of this and just kind of talk about the more notable products so this is the biosauce squalene and amino aloe gentle cleanser i number one love biosauce and love a lot of their products number two i actually do keep most of the cleansers that get sent to me because i go through cleansers so quickly and it's great to try new ones so that i'm able to recommend them to you guys and i haven't tried this one yet so i'll definitely be keeping this guy the 100 squalene oil from biosauce i actually have tried this 
I don't really feel like it really works for my skin and because I have tried this, it's like an open package, I am going to give this to a friend. I have a bunch of the Glow Recipe Serums. This one is the Guava Vitamin C, the Niacinamide Ultimate Glow, Avocado Ceramide uh, for redness relief, and then the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. So I'm actually gonna be giving these three away because I have these two already. And this one, I already use a vitamin C that I'm really happy with. And I find that when I try too many different types of vitamin Cs, my skin reacts poorly. So I'm going to skip on trying this guys. So these are going to be donated. This one, however, the Ceramide Recovery Serum, I'm really interested in. I do have very sensitive skin and my skin does get really red. So I'm super intrigued by this and I will be trying it myself. So let's take it out of this. Here's what it looks like. Oh, I love Glow Recipe packaging, so pretty. More Biosauce products. This is the Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum and the Squalane and Marine Algae Eye Cream. I actually really love this product. I'm gonna keep this for a backup and then I'm gonna give away the Squalane Algae Eye Cream. Got some wishful skincare here. I'm gonna be keeping the Yoglo Tropical Fruits because the Yoglo Exfoliator is actually one of my favorite exfoliators. It's very effective, but I'm gonna get rid of, or not get rid, donate the Wishful Honey Whip. Got some new products from Caudalie. This is the Vinyl Pure Gel Cleanser and Skin Perfecting Serum with Exfoliating Natural Salicylic Acid. Like I said, I love trying new cleansers and this serum actually sounds like it could be great for me, so I'm excited to try this out. This is the Kopari Coconut Body Milk. I have so many many body creams currently in use. I just don't think I need another one right now, so I'm gonna donate this guy. I'm gonna get rid of this Vichy Normaderm Phyto Solution because it's really just not for my skin type. It seems like it's more for acne prone, oily skin, which is not what I need. Ooh, I love a mask. I'm gonna be keeping this Cuddly Vinergetic C Plus Instant Detox Mask. I actually have two skincare products here from Cover FX. They're both the same. It's the water optional cleanser. I'm gonna be getting rid of both of these. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to makeup brands, I, I, I'm always not unsure, but I am never as excited about their skincare for whatever reason, rather than over like more skincare focused brands. You know what I mean? So this is a sunscreen from the brand Consonat, Consonat and it's called the Perfect Sunscreen, SPF 30. I'm always down to try new sunscreens. I will be keeping this guy. Got two toning products, the Tower 28 SOS and the Caudalie Purifying Toner. I already have a couple of these in my collection. I definitely don't need another, and I just don't think this one would be great for my skin type, so I'm gonna donate both of these. Donating. 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 Donating, not for my skin type got two products from Sicily Hair. This is the Hair Ritual Precious Hair Care Oil, and this one is the Reconstructing Nourishing Balm. Really excited to try these. Have heard nothing about this line, so I'll definitely be trying this and getting back to you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna be donating all this stuff, keeping this stuff, and this stuff is going to my friends. It's now Thursday, September 23rd, and I decided to launch my fall collection one day early <laughs> because I honestly just couldn't wait anymore. The suspense was seriously killing me. The last couple of launches that I've done, I've been so nervous. Like if it literally felt like I was going to throw up a little bit. Now I'm super calm, cool, collected. I'm just really excited. We are three minutes away and I am watching the website live right now and I can see that people are starting to file in. Um, and like the number keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I literally wanna throw up now. So remember when I said I wasn't nervous? I lied, I am very nervous. When I have a launch, I basically prep everything to the T where I basically just need to press save and everything goes live. So I have like four tabs open right now for four different sections of the website and I just need to press 
go. Oh my God, oh my God. It's live, it's 1 p.m. Let's tell Instagram. Fall collection is live. Swipe up or actually click the link. <laughs> oh my God, I just got my first fall collection sale. <laughs> Dude, half of the bookmarks are already gone. What? It's been 20 minutes. What? We are packing orders. I have two lovely people back here helping me pack orders. We got my mom. Mom, say hi. Hey. And we have Clementine. Clementine is the newest um, part of the, the doodle team. So Clementine is picking all of the, the stickers and bookmarks and everything. And then my mom, Packing. Wrapping it all up. Wrapping it up. Putting it in the package and sealing it with love. Right, Mom? Right. close to 8 p.m. and we have gone through all of the orders from today thanks to Olivia hey. and Clementine who ha has already left but I'm so happy they're already ready to go out I can't believe we got through all of them that's what happens when you have two amazing packers <laughs> hi it's the next day I wanted to just jump on here and close out this vlog properly because I didn't actually make an outro that Jamie. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this work life vlog. I would love for you to let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. Sometimes my like work day vlogs are more focused on my stationery shop and sometimes they're more focused on my YouTube work but I would love to hear what you guys enjoy and I'll keep that in mind for the next one. And like I said earlier in this vlog I will definitely be documenting the big changes that are going to be coming to this office space. I cannot wait to kind of bring you guys along with me on this process. It's gonna be so much fun. So let me know if there's anything in particular you wanna see in the comments as well. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell as well if you wanna be notified when I upload a new video. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.